Hello there, in this video we'll go over how to install Visual Studio Code in a Linux desktop on a Chromebook. VS Code is a code editor that is used for many programming languages. If you are interested in Linux on a Chromebook, then you may be interested in my playlist that will cover how to install and set up a Linux desktop on a Chromebook without running. The first thing we need to do is find out the type of processor that the device has. So whether it is an Intel AMD processor or an ARM processor and whether it is 32-bit or 64-bit. We can do this from a terminal by entering in the command dpkg space dash dash print dash architecture. I will also have other commands for displaying processor information listed in the pinned comment for this video. Now we can open up a browser and go to code.visualstudio.com and then click on the download button where the downloads are listed. Here we are going to select the .deb download that matches our device's processor. So the x64 is for the Intel AMD processor and the ARM32 and ARM64 is for the ARM processor. For my example, I have an AMD 64-bit processor, so I'm going to select the x64 download. Clicking on the download will navigate to the Getting Started page for VS Code as the download starts. Once the dev file is finished downloading, we can then install VS Code through the terminal. To do this, we can do cd space tilde slash downloads to navigate to the downloads folder or wherever the file is located on your device. After that, we can do ls space asterisk dot deb to list the files in the current directory that have dot deb in their name, so that way we can see the name of the file that we downloaded. Next, I recommend being online for this step because we are going to do sudo space apt space install space dot slash the file name dot dev. Dot slash means install the file from the current directory. In LX terminal, we can do control shift C on our keyboard to copy the file name and then do control shift V to paste it so that way we don't have to type it out. Keep in mind that we are installing software from outside of the repository, so if you are uncomfortable with this, then don't do it. During the install, we will want to make note of the package name below the line. The following new packages will be installed because the package name is how we will be able to find Visual Studio Code in apt and synaptic and is important for many other reasons. For this example, the package name is code. Now we can open up VS Code by going to the menu, and in the programming category, we can click on Visual Studio Code. We'll want to give it a moment to start up, but after a moment, VS Code is ready to go. For more help and information about VS Code, we can go to the Help menu and select Documentation. This will open up the same Getting Started page that we saw earlier when we first downloaded VS Code, and it is loaded with documentation, tutorials, YouTubes, and a lot more. We can also get more help from a terminal if we do code space dash dash help, which will list more options that we can use with VS Code. VS Code can also be deleted if we would like. In this video, I will show how to delete it from a terminal and from the Synaptic Package Manager. Note that you can still keep the .deb file from earlier and put it into another folder and reinstall VS Code from it at any time if desired. To delete VS Code from a terminal, we will first do apt space list space code. This will list packages based on the name that we give it, and we can see that VS Code is installed. Now to actually delete VS Code, we can do sudo space apt space purge space code space dash y. This will remove the code package and therefore delete Visual Studio Code. When it is done deleting, we can see from the menu that Visual Studio Code is uninstalled. Now to delete VS Code through Synaptic, we can click on the search button and search by name for code. We can also search by description and name for Visual Studio. Now when code comes up, we can right click on it, select mark for complete removal, and then click on the apply button to uninstall it, and then click on apply again to confirm that we want to delete VS Code. 
When VS Code is finished uninstalling, we can click on the Close button in the Changes Applied window, and then we can close out of Synaptic. From there, we can see in the menu that Visual Studio Code has been uninstalled. If you enjoyed this video, then you may be interested in the companion book to this video, the Chromebook Guide to Google Linux. And other than that, see you soon!